Hey, my name is Larry. Let's look at the reasons why homeowners should stop using electrical caps. Electrical caps, while they look simple, actually can be difficult to use. We found three most common problems I see when using electrical caps. Here is number one. If you look at your wires and you tug on one, it's loose and it actually comes right out. Look at that, bad connection. So when you investigate what happened, one wire was way longer than the other wire. Now, when I took the time to cut away one of these electrical caps, I see there's a thin cone of metal on the inside. That's the way these work. When the electrical cap and the wire meet deep inside, it will lock onto the wire by twisting it on. However, if one wire is dramatically longer than the other wire, it will be a poor connection and fail. Number two, attempting to bind too many wires per connection. This would have never worked. This electrical cap is too small and four number 12 gauge wires is way too many. Look at the packaging that your electrical nuts came in. They're clearly marked. Each color has a different rating for how many maximum wires can be placed per cap. What's the most common electrical project a new DIYer or homeowner will do. It's installing a light fixture. Now when connecting your light fixture, the house wiring will be solid and the light fixture will be braided. Look at this, a complete loose connection. You have a bad connection, your light will not work. What happened on the inside? Let's take a look. The electrical wire nut, because of its shape and cone design, only locked on to the solid wire and it pushed down and didn't grab the light fixture braided wiring. When you are connecting braided wiring to solid house wiring, you always have to snug that up and extend it. The braided wiring has to be further, sticking out further than the solid wiring. That will give you a good tight connection, nice and tight. There's several key takeaways you need to learn to do them properly. My absolute favorite uh, advice for homeowners doing their own electrical work is to buy these Wago 221 lever nut connectors. They are way superior and have better technology than old plastic twist on caps. Look at this, they come in a five wire configuration, a three wire configuration, a two wire configuration, and even a back to back extender configuration that really helps to extend and lengthen wires that are too short. With these lever nut connectors, it's as simple as open, Step one, open the levers, take your wires that need to be connected together. No need to pre-twist or do any preparation. They're gonna go all the way in. So your strip gauge is clear. You can see that the wire goes all the way in. Here, let me do the other one. You can actually see it's clear. When the wire hits the back of the connector, it's in perfectly. That's the amount you want. Lock them on down and that is a good tight fit. You don't want excessive copper showing there on the other side. These are the connectors you want to go to. They're in the video description below. Hey, if you're liking these kind of tips, we do put up new videos every single week. Subscribe to the channel. Hey, good job. I bet you can do it yourself. Upgrading from old electrical caps that have been around for 100 years to more modern technology with snap-on easy lever connectors. These are ways to go. Menards carries them in store and they are expanding their selection all the time. These are selling very fast and rapidly becoming more popular or check the video description down below for a clickable link.